Amnian Knights. Atticus summarizes. Yeah, so last we left off, uh, we first of all, from Gorobal, got some more information about exactly what he was doing in the land um, and the item that he was here for, the magical staff. Um, what else did he mention? Oh yeah, we have Asher, who is looking a little bit under the weather, as uh, a couple of us noticed, uh, getting, a, getting a bit of sweats and seeming a little not herself. Um, we then ended up storming the goblin kind of abandoned mansion location uh, where we approached it and then basically I summoned my weapon when I felt like they were threatening to uh, steal all our money and they did not like that and so now we're fighting and seconds later a dragon shows up so we're in for a time. You are in for a time. Would anybody like to add anything to it before we go back to that time? Have we leveled up since last session? Rio, Rio heroically killed a bugbear and a goblin. Rio? Rio. 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 Rio took two lives in service of the group. Um, almost lost his own. Yes. He was almost cut down by another goblin, managed to run away, then killed a bugbear, killed another goblin, had like five arrows shot at him, but somehow all missed. And yeah, Rio has leveled up since last <laughs> session. Uh, he, was very, he was very, very low level. He gained like four levels just off that fight. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Gullavaxa Nulan had just arrived. You did notice, uh, I think it was kind of a partially in-character observation, partially Mr. Death's a sarcastic bastard out-of-character observation, mm -hmm. but you heard it seem like it was very, very far away, and then it was very, very quickly upon you. Um, so yeah, that was noticed in and out of character. Let's go to our session. So, let me also... There we go. So yes, with a heavy crash landing on the ruins of the church type building. Wait, wait. Oh. Hmm. Did Zoom crash? Good for you. That's very unusual. Are we all in the same I'm the place? host now. We are all in the same place. Let me just check Foundry still seems to be working. Very odd. Um, I'm going to move the Grave Golem around a bit. Does he move for you all? I'm still loading in. Yeah, same. I'm at 51% and it stopped. I'm refreshing now. No, the Zoom call's still here.
sort of a heavy crash. The dragon lands on the ruins of the church and just leans down this long neck, looking across you all. You'll all, even if none of you have met a dragon before or seen one, you'll have seen them in books. We're an iconic part of the realms. This dragon does look, as I said last time, slightly, slightly different. Um, you know, dragons have a great many appearances. This one seems to be a bit sleeker and spinier than um, your typical dragon. Um, lacks the sort of horn that a lot of the other the horn snout that a lot of greens do, and has that noticeably twin scythed tail. And as it lands, the goblins. Uh, you I'd say you immediately notice anyone who's looking the difference in the demeanor. The goblins seem panicked and terrified by the arrival. Uh, the kobolds seem to tighten their formation even more and bang their spears against their shields for a moment, seeming to be emboldened. But yes, Gullivax and Ulan sort of peers across you all, and even in this dark, in this cloud of darkness, Jija, you just hear a, uh, a loud, not, not like a booming roar, but just a loud carrying voice. What is this? Uh, I will <laughs> look around at the party. Does anyone seem like they're about to answer? I mean, two of us are in the cloud, so you can look to Atticus. Yeah, we're too far away. Yeah, alright, I'll look at Atticus. <laughs> like... Overcome with shock. Uh, I'm gonna press it in shape so my voice matches. Um, and just kind of step out uh, from the tree. And just be like, Hi there! Uh, Winged one, genuinely, she does not remember how to pronounce the name and doesn't want to mess it up. Uh, <laughs> so sorry about this, uh, but we are here on behalf of the Adventurers Guild. Uh, we would love to have this not end up a big fight. We'd love to just chat with you if that's at all possible. Make me a persuasion check. Yeah. Um, you want me to make it with the... <sighs> with the disadvantages we've talked about? As sweat is just beating and rolling down her yep. face? Okay. Let me see if I can find where that was. Hmm. Where it was. Persuasion? Yeah. I'm going to do it just a disadvantage. I don't yep. remember what the rules we set up were that are not good in my channel. <laughs> there is... What a terrible time to be so Like, And you can just hear how much Asha absolutely fucks that. She's like almost tripping over her words and, and unsure. And it's the most unconvincing entreaty ever but you see the dragon even with that different even with that physiologically vastly different mouth there is an unmistakable moment of just a curl at the edge of its mouth parlay parlay yes and it calls out again with a clearly magically and Enhanced voice. Parley! And everything sort of stands down. Well, the kobolds stand down. The goblins continue scattering and milling about. And unless you specifically wish to attack them, the goblins will scarper away in various directions. Do you prevent this happening? No, I don't. Yeah. A cloud of smoke surrounding you. 
Atticus and Sire vanishes. And you see, as it does, Sire, goblin with a knife right behind you. Oh, no, it's Rio. It was back to you. Wave a missile, this oversized sword trying to protect you. Um, and yeah, we have screams and commotions that take place over the next bit of dialogue for goblins other than Rio. Scarper away. The kobolds, however, maintain their formation and seem to come out and generally form a bit of a rank outside watching you all. Do the goblins flee away or do they just scamper to the buildings that are nearby? They, they scamper away. Most of them seem to just head off further into the foothills. Oh, okay. Um, I would give it, given you came in the directions you were given, um, although some of them do go off in random directions out of sheer panic, it is clear that most of them are probably heading in the direction of Evergem Toils. Mm. And Galavax Gal and Ulan just slowly, almost leisurely sort of drags himself along the wall, scattering a bit of rock work until he's sort of perched almost behind his troops. What of the Adventurers Guild that has, and there's a bit of a flick of the wings, taken its time and appreciating my efforts? Uh, <clears throat> appreciate is a word. I don't know if it is the word I would choose. Um, but yes, we were we were sent on behalf of the Adventurers Guild. Uh, although, uh, to and, what end? To slay me? Not necessarily. I think also just uh, negotiating your. Moving would also be a would be a preferred option, really. Does that require a deception check? No, I thought we just want to get rid of them, right? The rangers wanted us to get rid of them. Up for interpretation? Sure, I'll deceive. Hmm. Just a slow rumble in its throat. Come closer, all of you. Let us speak civilly under this parley I have offered. Liam, I would very much like to uh, drink that potion of resistance of poison that I was given to me. Thank you very much. And Gorobal looks across each of you with very much like a... Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Sort of face. I'm going like to give him kind of a... He seems poised <laughs> to... Like a... I don't know. At your signal, he will be attacking. I want to uh, say to Arena, get as far back as you can. Same to Rio, by the way. Rio, <laughs> this is not your fight. Rio's already fucking charged it. <laughs> I'll keep them over here just for purposes of us remembering they exist. But we'll say that, yes, they're a good distance away. Clorag walks forward with you. Okay. Uh, where's Atticus? Where is Obsidian? Ah, I am to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, cool. I just had to move <laughs> a little bit. And you're looking across. It, it sees you approaching. It sees Obsidian off to the side. And without even saying anything, you see that 
Just one of the kobolds moves over a little bit as well. Fine. Why do you keep a wide berth, little one? Don't you trust me? Whom is he seeking? Obsidian. Who is clearly not approaching with the group. Hmm. Obsidian would... Obsidian is probably just sort of hunched very much low to the ground and generally does not look like a conversationalist type right now. Like, and I mean, to be fair, I think he's also just sort of covered in blood of the goblins at this point. And some of his... Uh, no, not really. Not really today. That's very unusual for Obsidian that he's not covered with his own blood. <laughs> Yeah. A bunch of goblins lie strewn around everywhere. So just, yeah, I think self explanatory, really. So again, I ask <clears throat> moving where? This is, and sort of one wings sort of casts around. This is my domain. My might makes it so. Yours yet, right? You just you moved in recently and started uh, taking over. Uh, however, there are peoples that have lived here for quite a while, uh, and those rangers uh, that defend the peoples. <laughs> the Cedar Watch. It's what they do. They watch. I would argue that if they've already had to seek aid from beyond the Gulf Maven. Clearly the Gulfmere has nothing to offer to oppose me. And by the right of might, your presence here only reinforces my claim. My dominion. Uh, she's gonna cast about at the others. Just like, I'm running on empty here. Um, Obsidian is just ready to pounce. So. Is, uh, uh, winged one. Um, is the right of might the only uh, authority that you you really the rule that you go by? Is that the law that you set with? It is one of two ways I respect. Okay, what's what's the other one? Coin. Oh, I see. <laughs> right. You may give tribute, and I will permit you to go about your way. Um, tribute in the form of like how many coins are we are we thinking? would be an acceptable tribute. Well, all of them. <laughs> and I would I yes. would just wonder if all of the coins that I have would actually be what There is magic amongst you as well. How about you go back to your lair and we'll just leave? How about that? No. Well, as I guess that's that. Compelling as your I, I cast argument X. was, and your cast hex, oh, excellent. Oof. As you cast hex, there is a grin from the dragon for a moment, and we will roll initiative. Sorry, but if if it's coin or fighting, I'm not giving up my coin. So. No, and like <laughs> Asher is like not in her best form today. She is no. Is nothing for this. Right? No. Six. That's slightly higher than last time. Hmm. Oh my Not god, the much. dragon is low. Shit. Um, Kuda shouldn't be in initiative, just Oh, did I hell. did I catch him in it, did I? 
uh, bidding, and then going off what we did the other day, I am going to update this one to say all cobalt tiro, and then remove the others for expediency. In the process of doing that, would I also be able to have summoned an abyssal hyena, or no? no because that's I was going to say, is that a short rest? A Taking the piss. <laughs> You're quick. I, I, I should have done that first. You should have, and yet you did not. So let's uh, let's go to combat. God, yeah, Golovaxanulu rolled a nine on its initiative. Bad times for a fast dragon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Arena is up. She was told to stay back. She was told not to engage with the dragon. What would you... I imagine you'd have done something with her. Would you have told her, if it comes to it, to take part? What do you want her doing before I commit to action? I mean, I was just saying get back because I feel like if she gets too involved in this, she's dead. So, she but she is a very high. good archer. She is. Yeah. She's a very good archer. So maybe she can, uh, maybe she would know to shoot and take cover. Cool. Yeah, she she absolutely can do that. I'm not sure where cover is here for her in uh, in one turn of movement, but she is good of a longbow and she does have good range of a longbow because of her nature. So yes, take his wings. She will absolutely fire. Just three arrows left. She hasn't had a chance to recover them. She did warn you that she was out, so she'll be uh, swapping tactics shortly. But she fires. 21. Hits. Bloody hope so. First damage in. Ooh, that was big damage as well. Mm. And that lack of... Those lack of scales, or the normal scales, you see that the Ooh. soft... The softer underbelly, these two arrows, although small, do both and just pepper into the chest. She is so soloing him. Yeah. And she Dragon will, Hunter Arena. She will then move as far as she is able. Oh, actually, have I sorted that first for this? Yes, I have. Okay. Next up. The Grave Golem. We'll march over. And we'll attempt to slam. Good God, everyone's suddenly rolling very high. Last session low, this session high. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. Let's make sure there's no... Okay, Asha, you're up. Okay, um, I oh. am... The, the big boy ain't grappling. Oh, well, yeah. So I can have that for... Where are we? Let's have a look. I can have that crit before gone for a grapple, no, if you're no. in agreement. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it did what it did, I think. Um, actually, I think with that being a crit, as that second one really takes it in the chest... It recalls back it's going to use one of its legendary actions. Hmm. And with a cry of insolence, um, there is a flash and Galavax and Ulan oh, just, no. just almost like the high speed sort of just camouflage from films just melts and vanishes. Um, Galavax and Ulan has gone invisible. Uh, question. Yes. What's the 
crap weight does of a that. dragon. Is this like when they're invisible, they no longer interacting with this plane, or is it fairly obvious what plants this giant heavy lizard is stepping down on? I mean, it's, it's in this plane still. So yeah, you'd still see little bits of, you know, I've already described like bits of masonry coming off and falling as it moves. But in terms of, you know, what you think could be its head, could be its tail and it's thinner yeah. there, or what was a big wing a minute ago might have been tucked in and go wide. So yeah, you have a very clear like, sense of the area. obviously, but like, it's yeah. more like, it's not like, oh, where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I... Tucked down behind this tree, uh, I've used a healing uh, ability on myself, and then I'm also gonna just use uh, my potion of poison resistance. Okay. There we go. That's it for me. No. Oh, already. Next okay. up, obsidian. Yeah, having not having seen what the cobbles can do. Oh, they race already up. Near, well, I think Obsidian will just dash to see what's behind. No, 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 no. We will go like this for now. Sort of enter. So he comes just what, just running through the. Uh... Yeah, that's the dash. Yeah, yeah, cool. The, with a cry, the unit of kobolds all react. Um, Sire is right in front of them. I feel like they are all going to do their um, Pugio attack, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Um, they're all going to Pugio against Sire. Jesus. And there's a sudden barrage. Well, so the back row will throw these almost like javelins while the front row for their shields all jab forward. And all eight of them strike out at you. Um, if this attack hits, it just does a flat eight damage. For each? No, no, as a total for the group. Because eight of them are oh, attacking. War. It's the way minions work. So because there are eight of them, if you get hit, you just take eight damage. Okay. Please don't hit. Oh, do I target to do I target to Golovex and Ulan still? But yet minus eight is just this sudden barrage of of shield of thrown spears and jabbed out, and a few have managed to take Siri. And yeah, that's all they can do. Though they are, uh, yeah, I will also have them actually shift over slightly. To, uh, form up on her. That's that's their turn. That's all they can do. The wounded legionary, who I think is wounded because Asher threw something at him, uh, is going to Let's have a look. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. It can't force through. It runs through the ranks of its brethren, and it comes in with a shield bash. Just try to swing in this little kite, this metal kite shield out at Siri. I'm trying to knock her. So if this hits, which I don't think it will. Oops, still, still the dragon. Yeah, another a more armoured one comes running through. Swings this shield, Siri, but you manage to uh, block it yourself and avoid being knocked. That's all from him. The bugbear. Okay. Unable to see the dragon. Well, well, would you rather would you rather Clorag try and assist Siri or join in trying to find the dragon? Probably help Siri, I guess. Take care of a uh, visible threat if that's what he yeah. can do. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Vaults the fence and comes in with a swing on the armored one. A two. Now we now things start missing. Another one. Two misses. Good God. 
Okay, Sira, you're up. Very surrounded, but seeing Claw are guiding you. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> There's really bad options here. But um, Cora is going to move 30 feet uh, up towards direction and to the uh, outside, not inside the church. Um, okay, now my token's colliding. Just kind of like where an approximate area of where the dragon could be. Basically, yeah. I'm going to try to sort of like, like an above. Um, Do I can't remember if we sorted before. Can Cora fly or float or hover? Yeah, I am. They can move 30, uh, 30 feet in any direction. Cool, cool. Um, I'm just moving it up for see. purposes of... There we go. Sorry, that, that just really threw me. Hold on. Um, sorry, just like... Uh... Actually, fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to attack this guy uh, okay. with my action with my lash of immolation. Opa. He looks pretty immolated to me. Um, Oh, that's a really cool effect. Yeah. Is he still alive? Just about. Uh, is, but remind me, is there any extra damage mentioned in map for people wearing metal? Hold on. I don't think so. No. No. It's just a crit hit. Uh, then it has a restraint. Remember, you are able no. to use your reaction to invoke the rune for extra damage if you'd like. Um, I might actually do that, if that's okay. At least I didn't call it. Oh, yeah, okay, so I, thought, I forgot it wasn't extra. Yeah, yeah, normally you'd need to call it, but yeah, go, you, just as a reminder, if you want to invoke it, roll another d6. One d6. Oh, that's not good. Four. Ten, I kill it. Um, just, just going to lash all over his body and it's just gonna like burn, burn, burn. Um, I'm also going to use a bonus action. He's not more than 30 feet from me, right? Who? Cora. Cora. Um, Has that moved him five, further than 10, 30? 15, 25. He's exactly 30 feet away when you count for the okay, elevation. Then, so, yep. Then we're gonna leave him there. Um,. Okay, uh, I, that's it. I don't have a bonus action I want to use. Okay. Rio will holding his little sword, screaming, come running gradually over to Sirius defense. He is dashed. That's as far as he can get. No, no. This boy's dead. The signifier, who seems to be up Seems to be functioning as some sort of standard bearer stood behind um, stood behind Chanton of a shield and a tall battle standard behind its troops is going to let's have a look. Ooh. He is gonna use his shield wall formation. He can choose up to four kobolds within 60 feet who can hear him. Each of them can use their reaction to move up to their speed. Uh, and each one that does that must end their movement within five feet of an ally. So doing this, one, two, three, four. That front rank, that back rank just come, oh, I misclicked. That back rank just come rushing forward and close in around Siri. Uh, and then it will move over a little. That's all it's going to do. Golovac Sanulan. There is a sudden rush of wind 
and plant matter and stone is just blasted off the roof, uh, off the wall, uh, with the, the obvious sense that the dragon has tucked to the sky. Well, there is a heavy <laughs> from somewhere in this region, and you see plant matter come falling down. Uh, then we check that is also that type of spell. Yeah. As from the uh, as from a rooftop, suddenly a torrent of poisonous smoke comes out and engulfs Atticus. He appears to take no damage to me. I have taken temporary HP as damage. Six. How much did you have, man? I had six. Now I have none. That was 24 damage, so how does that work? Pass my saving throw and I'm wearing a ring of poison resistance. Oh, you are wearing a ring of poison resistance. Trivialized that. Yeah, so this huge cloud of, like, of poisonous smoke... Forcefully, it isn't like some little gas that seeps around you. It's like being hit by a wind tunnel that threatens to like melt and corrode armor. But as it sort of begins to fade and dissipate out, and you still look quite, quite well, the dragon's eyes narrow. It's like, this explains your boldness. A fine trinket to be added to my tribute. We'll see about that. Gorabal. Gorabal is going to be smart to start with and cast Mage Armor. Uh, the legionary that had been moving over is yeah let's not meta it will initially make an attack against the golem before it inevitably realizes that this does nothing oh well it misses first of all so it doesn't know it does have multi-attack though it's a gladius across the uh, large stone foot and just feels it chunk, chunk. just can't get any sort of purchase and calls like, which Mr. Death, oh, Obsidian, I'm being very presumptuous here. Obsidian can, yeah, he doesn't know the words. He is, use magic on the Grave Walker. Atticus, you're up. Oh. Well, I wanted to summon the hyena because I foolishly didn't, but now I don't think I can resist the chance to attack the dragon. So, um, I'm gonna hop the fence, which I'm pretty sure I can do, but it's blocking me, so I'm gonna yeah. go around. <laughs> As you come within ten feet of it, <laughs> okay. it just lashes out suddenly with that. Its neck is so long, it's very, it's very smog-like in, uh, in its neck. And it just has that slight moment tensing back before it strikes out like a snake. And it is going to bite at you as you come in range. Oh, that dice, that dice roll journey. How do you block it? Is it a dodge or a block? 
I mean, it's kind of going for me as I'm hopping over the fence. So I imagine his jaws come down. I just have to kind of duck under and keep running forwards. Um, and I'm going to try and take a stab with the greatsword. Um, here we go. It is 10 foot up, remember? On the wall. Oh, well, I mean, I'm six feet tall and I've got three foot arms. Okay. And it's a greatsword. I think I can oh, reach. Yeah. From below. Um, excellent. I hit. What is my damage? Ugh. Oh. Okay, that's better. Oh, it's not it's not concentrating anymore anyway. Yeah. Um, and I will try and follow it up with a, a pommel strike as well. Where is it gone? Does end oh, there it is. Concentrating. There we go. Huh? Did that just end my concentration? It looked like it did. Ah, shit. Yes, it did. Like one misses. Um, and yeah, that'll be where I am. I've uh, given you concentrating again. Okay. Or was and it that one? Reference... There are two concentratings. No idea. Okay. Um... Oh. The hex is targeting its strength checks if that ever becomes relevant. Okay. End of the round. Irina, who had been moving this way for cover, suddenly has the dragon be close to her again. Mm. Uh, she is going to... <sighs> she is going to fire her last arrow, and then I think her next turn... She's going to need to spend doing a, a quick battlefield scavenge. Still manages to oh. hit. But yeah, she will... Her next turn, she will spend scavenging and I'll recover some arrows for her. Um, I think the... Influence of a command of Gorobal and knowing it's immune would have them be smart and not waste time stamping on this legionary. Oh, oh my god. And yeah, they all come over and just almost effortlessly shove this tree out of the way. Um, as the grave golem comes in with a slam, it will forego damage on a hit. To grapple. I just want to check. Did Arena's attack hit with a thirteen? It did. Wow. It is not. It is not heavily scaled. This dragon. Oh, you did mention the scale. Okay. It's made for speed. Um, it rolls a seven. Galavaxa Nulan rolls not a seven. Uh, it will make another attack, which will attempt to grapple with. Wait, does the Hex not do something here? For the athletics? Yes, it would be disadvantages. Yes, so let's roll out here. Thank you. Let's roll... I mean, I think this second one. Let's have a look. Let's roll it a second time, normal. Ooh! Oh. Uh, still, still trumps. Yeah. Okay, so now I've rolled the second one, so... This time, Grave Golem. Ah, uh, I mean, let's let's roll it in case it's a, in case it's a terrible terrible roll. Okay, roll goes a six. Oh, God, it is terrible. <laughs> Thirteen. Just two attempts to, and almost like bear hug it and grab it, but the dragons just. Quick and coiled, and keep slipping away from it and knocking it back. Asher, you're up. God, it's got plus ten. All right. Um, I'm going to just look at Sarah and just kind of throw a spell her way. She yeets a oh, potion of the way. How do I do this again? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, 
Thank you. Survive. I'll take it. Um, I'll take it. What? <laughs> and then, um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to step out uh, a little bit. You're talking better now. Is it yep. that feature D6 as pool of D6s? Is That's it? how I remember it as well. I feel like last time you used it, it was. Yeah, D6 rings a bell for me. I know healing word oh is. Oh my D6. gosh! You're right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can I take it? Yeah, of course you can. I'll take it. No, no, oh not, not short rest. I wanted to go. No, stop. I just want to click here. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. Anything I'll else it. from Asha? Oh, it's a bonus, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm just going to agonizing blast um, the dragon. That hits? Yep. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, cool. That's... I will step back, so at least I have partial cover from any kobolds, but... Um... Uh-huh. That's my turn. Okay. Obsidian. All right, uh, let's see, then we'll go back over here, see what's happening. Sure. Uh, we'll get into rage and slam at the guy that's next to us. Although, I believe by now, with the way we have split the combats and there was talking, the, the minute would pass and my weapon no longer is in fire. Yeah. So I guess I just, I just do the normal mole. Uh, do I want to? Uh... Oh, Sire Servant. Yeah, I will go recklessly just to make myself a juicier target, perchance. Oof. 12, and I want him gone that way. As I will continue my advance. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit though, because that, that's my movement, so that's my bonus action and movement, and that's my turn. All of the Tiro, once again, will focus on this wounded one. Because again, just a straight 8 damage if it hits. Which it does not. I don't think you rolled them individ. Oh, what I did last week. I don't think you do. Let me just quickly check. Right. If the damage is grouped, then one would presume not. Yeah, yeah, surely. Otherwise, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, well, they they typically do get like a bonus to attack as well. I don't know if that's a feature for all of them, or just, I think it's a per monster basis, maybe. To like make them more likely. No, just I, I, I've, def I've definitely seen some of them just get a bonus per everyone that's attacking. Nine? Is it auto damage? Is it what? Is sorry? it plus nine? The the, the bonus because then it would. Oh, yeah, it, it would I don't believe it would be. If there's eight of them, so yeah, doesn't really matter now. I can find out in a matter of seconds just before we. Uh, can... Oh, in fact, I've already got it here. Minions, we found. I mean, that would be more part of this stunt look. I think I don't. I don't believe that's like a general rule for minions. I think the ones I've seen just head it as they when they attack in the group. They can make shared attacks at the GM's discretion. Oh no, that's retainers on the previous page. Uh, yeah. Oh, group attacks. There we go. Each minion group attack. The attack should have plus one for each member of the group who's making it. Dun dun dun. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, oh, okay. So is it still not enough? <laughs> 9%? Cool. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Okay, Clorag. Little shitters. Clorag is going to swing a couple of these. First one. Come on. No! Misses. Come on, Clorag, you shit. Thank you, Clorag, <laughs> you shit. 
Oh. Wow. Ouch. Do they have four HP per one? Uh, they have four they HP just... per one. Yeah. <laughs> they literally just killed well. the one. <laughs> what? If it's if it's minions, does it ever kill the next one? Yeah, doesn't it oh, just yeah, 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 yeah. doesn't, doesn't he just clear the four near him? Yeah, that's why I was asking. Cause sixteen. Uh, only one in range. Yeah, he had enough to. Yeah, yeah, from where he was. But then he will then step in, and then Siri, you're up. Yeah, Siri and Korok are having their own little fight. So, um, gonna do their own that. boss fight. Yeah, for a little bit, fine. Uh, I can some cobalts. But, you know. Normal. Eight. God, I love this, like, thing. A fire effect. A fire. Yeah. Uh, and if I could choose, then I would like to kill this guy. Like, it just kind of whips across both of them. Which one? To the left? Left and down, I think. Yeah. Because there's always spills, right? Yeah. She's got um, a full uh, Belmont about it. Nice. I would like Cora to come near me, please. Um, so I'm going to move him 30 feet. Uh, I'm yeah. actually going to yeah, move, make him... I'm going to move him here, actually. Um... Yeah. I'm struggling with the... Okay. I, I see him double. Uh, I see them double, but... Um... Okay, I think... Um... I think it's me. Come on, Rio! No, Rio, no! Rio comes charging up behind. Do it, he's gonna do yeah! it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> no, oh, he not love Rio. Rio! 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 Uh, how far was that? Yeah, and then it will continue coming round. Hmm. Nice. The standard bearer is going to... Let's have a look. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Run inside. Where's he going? And then you hear a... A high keening, like, chime noise. Like a huge wind chime has been used uh, as oh, it no. is going to count. In fact, let me just check that distance. Oh, can't move. Yeah. As he rings this peeling chime out, and you see glowing healing energy as he casts glory to the Legion. Oh, does it not roll automatically? Ah, oh, it is. Okay, uh, roll, and he heals 2d4 to these two allies. They both regain 5 HP. Is it on the dragon? Yeah, and it's an ally within oh, 60 foot, you can hear it. They are, they are quite, you know, quite specifically, it's troops. Um, okay, that's him. Well, of Axanulan's breath does not recharge. Um, however, I think Atticus down on the ground, Gorobal up in its face, I think it's going to slash out at Gorobal a couple of times. Give him a he's level with it. Or just the golem, you know. That's fine. That hits even for his mage armor. The 
lashes out twice of its claws, and then comes in with the bite. Oh, misses. The golem just keeps getting up in its face. Um, and then, with a frustrated hiss, vanishes. And Gorobal, you see his head peek up, and it is further in the ruins. At which point it will. You see this. That was so fast. <laughs> it is speed. And Gorobal is in range to fire a couple of his lances at it. Grave Bolt, sorry. And both hit. That's Gorobal. Oh, nice. The Legionary is going to come rushing up behind the reckless Obsidian. And is going to make two attacks. The first of which will be an advantageous shield bash. Misses. Um, only one can be a shield bash, so the other one's just a gladius swing. Manages to hit. And it's sort of with shield against like the chill storm coming off you, but it manages to strike true. Atticus. Little one. I'm gonna get on the move. I can sort of see it. Is it on a roof? Like would it be blocked by these the building? Um, if those are its way, yeah, I feel like if you go one more. <laughs> oh, well, I don't have one more. Um. So, I will. I mean, this is just the random innocent goblin. Is he here? To a random innocent goblin. There's a goblin next to me on the map. Where? No. <laughs> Isn't there? As in, like, adjacent so. to you? Diagonally, yeah. No, there are no goblins left on this encounter. <laughs> Except Rio. Anything, is unfortunate. anything showing otherwise <laughs> is a mistake. I would allow you to move differently if that goblin not being here would have changed your plans. The lineup actually works out quite well. Um, so I'm going to taunt the dragon <laughs> and say, running away already, are we? Um, and I'm going to turn behind me and target a kobold with an eldritch blast. Oh, that did, that did the animation like you've missed for me. That showed that showed it going wide, hitting mm -hmm. that tile. Um, but you were but you were targeting this one, correct? See one there. You see one there. I see three in a line. Is there not three in a line there? They yeah, are there is. Here. But the spell, you know, if it misses, like the animation skews off to the side. It did, it did that for me, even though you clearly yeah, hit. I was targeting this one with the idea that if it overkilled, I could kill it's several, here. but then I rolled really shit damage. Yeah, you just did it again. That's weird. So to watch where I am, I think it's... The, the goblin is here. So the kobold is oh. there, but your spell looked like it was targeted here, where there is no kobold. Do you see, yeah, a, kobold do see a kobold in kobold that there. square? I'll, you I'll need refresh, to F5. But I, but I kill a, gob um, yeah. a kobold anyway. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it hit and it that goes that goes down. That wouldn't be enough damage to overspill anyway, so while he's reloading top of round, Arena spends her action recovering ammunition. 
Oh, Mr. Death looks confused. Yeah, because did Chicha drop just for a second on Zoom? Check no, your windows, she, probably. I think she just stepped away. Oh, she did. I'm here. No, I'm, I, here. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, no, I'm here. She did, yeah. Everyone's <laughs> different, so... Oh, no, yeah. You're such a rat. I, I mean, he would have noticed later and it would be worse. Now he could quickly contract yes, it. Yeah. I turned it off by mistake. I'm so sorry. I'm he but oh, I am dear. here. I'm just. Okay, pause, pause quick no one needs to watch me eat. Yep, she's that's lost. Not, she's, she's, watch. she's lost an AC for the rest of the encounter. Oh. Oh, no. uh, yeah, so Arena has spent her, ac her action, her round recovering ammunition. The grave got. Why does, why does Luca look panicked? Because we're fighting a dragon. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Is there another reason? Um, okay. Oh, it's not mine yet. I'm next. Okay. Yep. The golems with a dash can clear a distance, but cannot act. Asher, now it's you. Now it's me. Okay. I'm going to basically move rinse and repeat. Um... One D six. Seven. Why? Why does it do this? Okay. Amazing. Um. And then I assume I can hop the fence. Yep. But it won't actually let me, so I'm gonna walk through. You remove the kobolds from initiative, Harrison. Ah! You killed the sacred kobold. Yeah, they were all before. They were just after me. Were they? Cool. Okay. Yep. So, I think you should make one and then put them somewhere in a corner. That's what I did last time. I forgot to do this time because we were already on the map. Yeah. yeah. And you managed to hit with another Eldritch Blast. Cool. Such um. stinging. Little welts, and yet familiar. Um, my turn. I'm gonna stay right here. Look at my movement. Okay. Obsidian. Yeah. Well, I'll slam at the guy next to me. Cuny cobbled. Um, normally, though. Mm -hmm. That's annoying. Um, this is. I don't want to do that, so I think we'll just move. I think, yeah, I'll, I'll allow him to hit me. Or to try. Oh, are you opportunity attacking, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be um, yeah, leaving he, his range. He will. Are you. Um, I am not reckless. You're not reckless? No. Great. Can you please well, make yeah. me a DC 12 strength saving throw? Oh, sure. Sure I can. Those are at advantage right now. Oh, I I did roll it normally and now it's... Okay, well, I should pass all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't this oh. time, so I don't know. <laughs> so what, why did you roll it so many times? Because... Because you said, uh, roll me a saving throw, and I yeah. did it from my card, and then it asked me to, because the game is also automated. Ah, okay. Well... So if you want to go with the automation, then I guess I fail. Sure, okay. Then you fall prone. Shit. Uh, so I'll use the rest of my movement to stand back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it just, just it will just... Yeah, it would... I mean, it does limit my movement in this yeah. turn quite heavily, so... I end my turn there. Okay. A sad the, fight. For um, Cobbles are next to Yep. Yeah. The yeah. remaining Tiro, which for our two, will attack Siri. With a plus one. They miss. 
Oh, thank goodness. Clorag steps up to try and clean up here. And kills both. Oh no, it's not adjacent to him. He moves in. And attacks the other one. What a waste. What a waste. Turned into a fine pink paste. Yep, he makes jam of the other. God, that was 24 damage. I mean, I have 4 HP. Where was that when he was surrounded by enemies? Uh, that's him. Sire, you're up. Well, uh, I'm going to move 20 feet here. And I'm going to hit this guy. Gonna lash him. Gonna lash him. And try to. It's nice. Ooh, that's a nice hit. Not enough to finish it off. Thanks to that healing it took from the uh, from the signifier. It's a um, heavy blow. I feel much formal when Kura's not here. So Kuda steps behind, and he's going to unleash one of his attacks Ooh. against the Cobalt Legionary. Nice. Um, which I'm guessing is just it's, an... just... it's just a normal weapon attack from you. Okay. So I'm going to use the longsword. Yep. Uh, oh. Not enough. Ooh, not enough. Okay. Anything no, else on you? you know, nope, nope, nope. All good, thanks. Rio's got the fucking taste of blood. <laughs> he was charging over. Swings for short sword. Oh, Rio's magic broken. He is going to step. Oh, no, he hasn't. He has no. Oh, he has five feet. He dips back, and in that crafty way that he is, is unable to be struck at. The Kobold Signifier. He is going to step up and slash out with his staff at this strange cloud of smoke. So remind me, what's it AC? What's is Kura's AC your AC? Yep, yep, that's uh, that's right. No, it's 14 plus spell with proficiency, so it's 16. Okay. Not 20. Is he 1 HP? Oh, no. Yep. Kura is... Okay, a little bit more. Galavaxanulin. Oh, it does not recharge once again. He is going to... Yeah, I think he's going to just try and wail on Gorobal again. It's... It's... And this last one, he will forego damage to grapple the Warlock. Which he rolls a 24 on. Gorobal rolls. Uh, it's the same. Oh, not slightly better for him. So, Golovax Anulin just bites out, slashes, gets its claws, and just wraps this clawed fist around the warlock's throat. Uh, then, Golovax Anulin is going to fly up 60 feet. 
In fact, can you... I don't think you can take someone with you when you're Misty Step, can you? It's only Dimension Doorway. So, yeah, he flies up 60 feet. And... Is it, six, is it just 60? It is. He's going to fly... No, it's 120. He is going to fly up 120 feet with this... <laughs> up into the sky and let go of Gorobal. So with this huge blast of dust and impossible speed, Golovac Sunulin just launches into the sky. Um, Garbal going with him and let's go. So what about we? 12, 12d6? I think. Yeah. 12d6. Garbal takes 41 points of damage. Which exceeds his max HP, and he crunches to the floor. Uh, Golovax and Ulan is up in the air. Legionary will try and attack Sire. Uh, it will shield bash first. Misses. Get wrecked. And then it will Gladius. Get wrecked. Oh, I think that isn't that within your... That's shieldable for you, isn't it? If you want no, to... but, uh, yeah, but I only got the one. Ooh, okay. It would be a meter to beat it, then. Yeah. It makes me feel slightly better. Nice one, dude. Ah, fine. Okay, it's only a small damage. As yes, you're up. Golovax and was in the sky, and then just... Gorobal lands. Well, what is the range on an Eldritch Blast these days? It is 120, isn't it? 120 feet. But I mean, given the fact... Given Pythagoras' theorem, it would be out of my range, right? Sure, sure. Unless you're standing right under him. True. I, I and just... Yeah! <laughs> I mean, if we are using diagonals as five feet, you are technically within the range. That's true. Normal diagonals are, are, are five feet, so... Can I take a pot shot at the dragon? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Bam! Definitely hits. Such a bad damage roll. I don't like that all your spell animations are, are off by five foot for some reason today. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, there's a, a spit of rage from up on high. He is tickled. Um, Anything else from you, Atticus? I don't think I have any useful bonuses at this moment. I will probably move over here. So, that's all. Irina is now stocked. She found six arrows. Uh, and she will move up her 30. She will dash 60. But no, do you know what? She'll move her 30. And then she absolutely, with her longbow range, has the legionary in range. And hits. As an arrow comes as this as this kobold slashes out at you, Sire, suddenly it just <clears throat> head to the wall with an arrow. I turn and I look at her and I give her a smile. Grave Golem awaits further instructions. The dragon is out of reach. Asha, you're up. Uh can I Clarify something. Is Gorbal when you said it exceeded his health, is that like the dead dead? Or... Are you over inspecting him? He is he lands you know what, the, there right. is there is some splatter. Not a huge amount, because his 
His own vitality was questionable in the first place, it but is. there was some splatter. It's magic. I'm going to just try. I'm going to use one on him. Um, I'm just going to just like kind of shocked looking over and just kind of panic throw uh, a heal his way and hopefully it gets him back up. If not, I can do nothing. Um, Atticus, you see... Despite his head being like a slightly stamped melon at the top, you do see a bit of a <laughs> and some horrible like bone knitting and. <coughs> Damn it! How am I supposed to steal the flail of Aegis now? <laughs> All right. You can just hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Please, nothing me. personal, kid. <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna hop over. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go out the long way and pretend that I hopped out the fence. Um, and I cannot reach the dragon. Uh, that is my turn. Okay. Obsidian. I keep on slamming. Keep on failing. Um, well, I'll at least head in, I guess, just to not be in the open. And that's me. Okay. Oh. Lorag. Uh, will dash, but cannot act. I'll, um, I'll move around a bit. Siri, Siri, you're up. Siri so moves forward. Uh, this is the I can see this guy, right? Yeah, like, you, I'm you, not you can step. That's a bit of open wall. You can step through there. Okay, I'm going to step through here. As you step I'm going there. To... You... No, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, I'm going to step through there. I'm going to whip my lash of immolation back and forth. Um... Oh, dear. That is so, so bad. Um, and I'm going to summon, summon Cora. Um, uh, Jesus Christ, so many folders here. Um, just up here. So many what folders? Yeah, I can just click this. Yeah. Hmm? What folders do you have of them? Player characters and summons. There's a party. There's player character. There's a. Mm, okay, that's my turn. Okay. I wonder if you had more than you should then. Rio continuing his rampage. Comes charging over. And he's going to swing his short sword. Miss him. Oh, Rio's, Rio's rage ends. <laughs> He's like Siray's personal bodyguard. All three uh, foot of him. A cobalt yeah. signifier. Um, let's have a look. Chlorag is one, Obsidian's two, Rio's three, Series four. Oh, he swings at Rio. No! Oh. <laughs> no! Wait, Sentinel! Sentinel! If you Sentinel! Is that, does that stop the attack or is it after they attack, after they've hit? Remind um, me. I think it, it does could stop be... it. I don't think. It doesn't stop and it. I, I, yeah, I think it's after. Okay. But, Unless I... Oh. But so, hey, free attack. Them... Yeah, so it attacks Rio. It misses Rio! <laughs> and in response, Siri slashes I'm out. Bad comment. The oh, yeah. No, out. you do not touch my little goblin friend. Or maybe oh, he does. Damn it. Oh. oh, my word. It's too close, close. There's too many... Who put all these pews here? Seriously. <laughs> Oh, Galavax and Ulan not getting his uh, much breath back. He is going to mm. dash. He loves to dash. Come land with a crash. Oh. oh. Bye, Arena. Down I here. I did tell her to get back, but she is stupid. We can't be blamed for this, right? Uh, but he's dashed. That's him. She's made her choices. <laughs> Gorabal. <laughs> <laughs> Something 
Dorabel gets back up and just like. <laughs> and uh, Atheus, move a perception check. I shall. As you just as he gets up, you just hear under just a, a low mutter suggests it's da it's disdainful. It's almost like a low intoned like prayer or acknowledgement. You just hear uh, as you command, Irenicus. And the golem just extends an arm out for him to step onto. That's all he's gonna do for now. Be hoisted back onto his golem. Atticus, it's you. Um I will shout out Arena, run! And I guess I will... I say <laughs> You shouldn't be here. Start running back this way. And I'll throw out another bolt, the old Eldritch Blah. Uh, no, 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 seriously, Arena, run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that your turn? Unfortunately, yes. In response to you calling out this warning, uh, Golovax and no one's like, Yes, Irina, run! Run away! And is going to... Bite out. Jaws. <laughs> Irina, are you all happy for Irina to disengage, or would you like her to attack and take the risk? Well, it just used its reaction according to the thing, or was, did that not count because it was a legendary thing? It was a legendary action. Okay. Disengage sounds good. Disengage. Yeah, and absolutely. What, up, up here towards you, is that good? Or do you want her moving? She's I mean, I feel like you're really... Somewhere towards her, maybe? Whatever. Okay. Right. Yeah. As long towards as it's safety. further away from the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should be good. Brave goal, and once again, finds us running back and forth. Going to dash. Of extra speed to pass through allies there. Get to there. Asha! Okay. I oh, actually, before you do that, sorry, at the end of, um... At the end of, um... Grave Golem's turn, just technically an ally. Golovak Sunulin is going to use another legendary action. It is going to cast Acid Arrow. This time, a horrible little traitor. <gasps> like no! A, it's just this. It's like a globule. It's almost like this really. It's like it reminds you of an Eldritch Blast. It's like a little fast lance of energy that just shoots out. And somehow misses. <laughs> Miss Combat Man. He is, oh, sorry, he is a hero. A He's a hero of the story. Um. Yeah, Rio slices it in half. <laughs> <laughs> Two parts. One hits Obsidian, one hits. <laughs> okay, Asha. Uh, cool. Seeing that, I'm gonna hop back. Oh my god. I'll just do I... it. I'll just do it. Calm okay. yourself. <laughs> Making a scene. Oh, now I'm busted, and I see three of me. Uh, I'm gonna go, like, duck behind this bench, because I don't want to get That's it 
How's the dragon holding up? Um, there are, I mean, there's a couple of arrows sticking out of it. It's absolutely, you see a very small amount of blood coming from it, but it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem perturbed. It just seems aggravated. Whack. And I will send him further in. Thank you. Rio is like, no, I had that! <laughs> Um, a passing Rio Obsidian will mention that take care of that one and then hide. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> she turn uh, around, kills Rio. <laughs> and uh, I, yeah, I think I will be here ish. Okay. That's me. Clorog will attempt to end the, uh, the secondary combat. And succeed. Oh, wow. Donk. Uh, and then he will... Let's have a look. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is he... going to throw a javelin? And the wing it just it goes off a off a, one of the few scales there are. Siri, you're up. Siri turns to Rio and he says, "Rummage around these corpses. See if you can find some sort of healing potion. Stay out of sight of the dragon. Understood?" Okay. You're a brave one. And with that, she's gonna step away from here. Uh um, 30 feet. Maybe you passed through an ally there. So, so less than that? 25 yeah. feet? Yeah. Ten, or 20? 25. 25. Here. Yep. Um, locked crossbow. Come on. Uh, range is 80. I should be able to hit it easily, from here. Easily. Crossbow it is. That's a hit. You weren't, you weren't targeted it, but it was a hit. Oh. Roll damage, I'll do it manually. I'm going to move Kuda over here. Okay. And that is my turn. Okay. Rio snoops around. Oh, ah, shit. Okay. Good grief, out of a mess, sir. Um, you see just furling coils of green smoke coming out from the, uh, the corners of a dragon's mouth, and do you strongly oh. suspect that it once again is ready to unleash a, uh, a torrent? It is going to fly... Over, landing, and it is going to obviously poison breath. Oh, is there no way to get all? Probably have landed one back then, because this is a clever thing. <laughs> That's not what I said. There we go. No. Is it not possible to get three things in it? There we go. No, it's too small. Is it? No, it's a 50 foot it? cone. That is, we are aligned perfectly oh. for it. There's some, I think I'm. I think we're fucking us come some <laughs> the shape of a dragon's token. There you go. And yeah, blast of poison breath on Atticus, Irina, and Clorag. Irina wants a constitution saving throw. Bookbell wants a constitution saving throw. Hmm. 
Not the best damage on it again. Golovac Sanulan is not having the greatest round. Um, and then he will... Got Sabres. No, he has no more movement after that. Cool. Um, and he'll keep hold of that. So that's him. Gorobal will... Uh, oh, his mage arm would have actually ended when he died. He is going to... That will affect you. So he's going to do his uh, lance. Because I feel like... I mean, he has access to Hunger of Hadar, but I imagine the vision-obscuring effect of that would probably fuck you more than it would the dragon. It's... And hits. Atticus. You're up, and at the end of this round, we'll take our break. Well, with it right in front of me, I don't feel like I have any choice but to charge it head on. In we go. Great sword of swinging. Hits. Yeah. Again. And I'll take a moment, readjust, and I'm going to try and uh, mold how strike it with my uh, the rear end, so to speak. Also hits. Cool. And then I will start sidling around a little bit. Unbelievable arrogance. Absolute impunity. It is a shame you are already claimed. I don't think I've got anything to say to that. I'm too busy concentrating on staying alive and trying to kill him. Yeah. Um, and just before we end in response to you... Your turn ending, he will claw, attempt to claw you. Unsuccessfully. So, we will, t it is quarter, we are back in, top of a round is Irina. She is going to, no, that's Atticus. She's in a fire <laughs> at, at Galavaxanulan twice. Ooh, after her attack roll, I am going to clear that combat log. Fires once, fires twice, both hit. Another two arrows straight into that softer portion of chest. And then seeing the golem behind her, she is going to... Oh no, she'd... Had she already moved up? That's weird. This is a new... Oh, because I haven't moved... Because they haven't actually moved around, that's why. She's going to get out of the way and dip into the building a little bit. Brave Golem with Gorobal on top. Charges forward. And is going to strike out twice at Galavax and Ulan. Trying to grapple with both. First one still manages to hit with his finger next to no AC. And it's still hexed, right? Still hexed, monkey? My concentrate. Should be. Yeah. Am I muted? Can you not hear me? No, I can now. You were. Oh, 20. Yeah. This is going to be difficult. Oh, it's a disadvantage. This might be. This might be. Oh! <laughs> oh what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you can see, they were both nat 20s. Yeah, we saw. Uh, it manages to the not fuck? to not get caught with the first one, but it does have multi-attack. It's going to swing again. Can't believe that. 
Another attempt. This one's surely. Okay. Oh, it's a high roll from, from a golem as well. Disadvantage again. Yeah, okay, that's normal. Ooh, meets it be... I think it doesn't get grappled. If it yeah, meets it... So. Yeah, believe, it remains so. It remains ungrappled, but it is close. Damn. Asha, you're up. Mm. The dragon is now on the ground. Yeah. Um... No, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blast it. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna try anything fancy right now. Oh. Looked like it was gonna be a 20 for a second. And it hits, huh? Just gonna scooch back a little, having seen it just take everyone out in a group of three. I'm gonna try and stay. Okay. Slightly different. That's it for me. Obsidian. Okay. So, uh, well, either way, I had a plan to jump on the dragon, and try to grapple it. Is it ten feet in the air? No, it's on the ground. Oh, it's, it's sorry, we changed okay. it. It is, it is on the ground, correct? Oh. Oh, that changes things. Well, for just for flavor, I will still just sort of run up over to the the golem, just sort of climb it a little bit and jump from from above, sort of to grab at its neck and uh, and one wing and pin it down. Uh, hopefully, uh, with advantage because I am still raging, thankfully. Mm -hmm. And thus, oh, fuck, not a high skill yeah, check, but, but it has disadvantage. Yeah, has disadvantage. Yeah. Um, hopefully, at some point. It rolls low. And it did. <laughs> yeah, you have it grappled. Get All right. Now I really want to see Obsidian in like a Mexican wrestler's mask. <laughs> oh. You talk to one. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I am not grappled. That's silly. The dragon is grappled. The DM handles that. Oh, you're not I am not the DM also here. grappled if you're grappling, isn't that weird thing? I mean, uh, I don't, I, mean, I don't think you count it as grappled. You're not? Cool. Yeah. You are both in a grapple, but like it can't then choose to uh, take you away, you know? Sure. Okay. Just checking and with grapple that's... rules, I can't remember, because this is... This is classed as huge. Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. I was, oh, it I, I was going off of... Huge. Oh, so I cannot. I cannot then, because... I was going off of the idea that since it has a four square, it is large. Yeah, do you know what? I have scaled it down, so you would have had that impression all the way through. So yeah, we'll rule it as being that. It's fine. But yeah, it's grappled. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, in which case, I yeah, I mean, I will... Oh yeah, I will definitely use the additional attack as a bonus, because that will keep my rage going. I don't know if grap... I will check if just a grapple counts as an attack for that purpose. Um, yeah, normal, because it will probably be hitting me back. And it has a low AC. <laughs> chomp, chomp. Uh, so, two temporary HP for me, as I bite at its neck, probably. Just help, remind me, say again, how do you have it grappled? What, what's the, the flavor of your grapple? Oh, I was, I, I said I'm jumping on top of it, sort of, from the top, grab, grabbing one, um, grabbing it by the neck. And sort of trying to pin down the wing with my other arm. Okay. Sort of the precarious position, trying to hold it down, I guess. Okay. Do you want Chloride just. You want Chloride coming in with a mole or throwing javelins? Uh, it can come with a mole. It would be great if it didn't stand, like, you know, next to me. Just sort Five, of run ten. past a little bit. <laughs> Get on its back! 15, Hit its 20. tail! Oh, that's Atticus underneath. Uh, Smash its wings! Yeah, he can... Yeah, for a special weapon. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. We happy with that? Wow. Yeah, 
obsidian's creating difficult terrain. Oh, he is. Thank you. So, let's start again. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25. That's as far as he can get okay. next year. Are you happy with being next year? <laughs> sure. Well, what's the worst that could happen, you know? Have you all attacked twice? <laughs> <laughs> All's fair in love and war. First swing of a mall misses. The mall wants to keep them. I don't know which one this is. Ooh. Mm. His so grapple right down. Oh, Heavy blow. Golavaxa Nulin just roars out of <clears throat> insolent, traitorous swine. Siri. Alright. I think this works movement wise. Uh so do I could I need do I need to move through Kortag or that's twenty five feet. I would like yeah, to get there. That will but... that will and work. Again, you will be, oh no no you will be there going we just my... paint you're in you're in the dragon at that point for that one. Yeah, and you can, get, you, can get, you can get there, yeah. Yeah, that's no, not wall. Because that will be through my bubble of being uh, an annoyance. Oh yeah, so you can get there then in that case. No. <laughs> Your bubble. Um I do have reach. Um Kura is gonna disappear, but they are going to reappear because I'm going to resummon it yeah. on top of the dragon with my bonus action. With my as action. It, as in above it. Just, to, yeah, 10 feet. Great. Oh. Just well, hovering above it. it that way. I know he's not 20 feet, so I was just wondering why it wasn't uh, lifting it above. But okay, yeah, go on. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to flash the simulation of the dragon. That hits. Mm. Oh, max damage! Ooh. Jesus, yeah. That is absolutely going to get a... Uh... Oh, no. That's absolutely going to get a response from him. Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, anything oh, else no. from you? Uh... <laughs> yeah, you know what? Why not? Uh, Cora. So, um, Monkey says that Cora can be the lash, magical lash. Um, like, their Unleash Incarnation attack is. Like, it just says you make an additional melee attack. Cool. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, I take it up basically with. basically just a clone of you. So, whatever you use, you can. Makes use. sense. Yeah. Um, so, uh, twin. Twin lashes. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to click this so it's spent. And then target the dragon one more time. And pretend I'm level 5 and do two attacks this time. Hmm. Oof, also hits. Yay. You just see it's a gonna, steady it's drip like, of kill just me, then I might as well now. get it all out. It does appear um, to be de heavily wounded now. Anything else from you? Yeah? Yes. Why not? I'm here. If it's the last thing I do, action surge. Nice. Surrounded by allies, voiced by my brother. This last just won't stop. Click. <laughs> Uh, Misses. But, you know, everyone has limits. Uh, is that you? That is limited. Yeah. Cool. Uh, as a legendary response, as this wound from a whip whoosh, across it, it just almost like belches out a uh, a huge cloud of stinking <laughs> gas that just bursts out as a stinking cloud Eek? emits out from it. Hmm. Spreads around corners, everything is heavily obscured inside, um, and every creature that is inside the, the cloud at the start of its turn must make a con saving throw against poison, uh, oh. DC 15, <laughs> on a failed save. So, I don't know why it's forced now, because it's only the start of your turn. So that's yeah, just some founder okay. programming. So the start of your turn, DC 15 con save, if you fail, you spend your action retching and reeling. Uh, okay. Creatures with 
Creatures that don't need to breathe or are immune to poison automatically succeed. Uh, and a strong wind will disperse it. So, uh, um, that, so now it is Rio. He just sees this cloud disappear. He is going to just continue pilfering bodies as instructed. Golovek Sanulan, he does not get his recharge back. Um, he is going to make a couple of select surgical strikes within this darkness. Let me just untarget all these people. Looking around him, he is going to absolutely attack Sire because she is the most wounded person who hasn't come back from the dead so far for him. Is it advantage if when you're attacking someone in someone heavily obscured, but you can see fine? Is it just yeah, purely... if, they, if they if they don't see you and you yeah, see yeah. them, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we see him? Well, it, oh, says, yeah, can it says heavily obscured. I'm not sure how. Um, I can look it up, but it doesn't hit anyway. For, yeah, first one misses anyway. Second one. Oh god, this looks like a miss as well. About 24 total. <laughs> Heavily obscure blocks vision entirely. Cool. But yeah, he can see through it. You can't. So we're blinded, essentially. Yeah. With a huge... Siri, uh... you know that you... Well, yeah, come <gasps> over here. And yeah, you just hear like a much less pathetic thing than I just did. And Kura would... Sputter out, yeah? Yeah. And then Clorag. Oh, a nat 20 on Clorag. Goodbye, Bugbear, my old friend. Uh, and then... Yeah. My teeth to your neck. We will meet again. He's going to misty step 30, 30 feet up into the air and then and then move his uh move his speed. Where are we? His fly speed is 120. He immediately with that speed tears off in the direction of Evergen oh. spoils just a shower head of just acid and poison. Rain and out in these horrible big pulses with a beat of his heart that just scatter and splash over the ruins. Um, yeah, I imagine only Asher and Irina see that happen though. Everybody else just hears my teeth to your neck. We will meet again soon because everybody else is inside that roiling cloud. All, all of that beating of wings didn't disperse it like a strong wind. Uh, no, because he, he teleported up above it. Ah, oh, he did, the bastard. He did, he didn't leave from inside it. Uh, Gorobal needs to make no save, as poison does not concern him. Well, he can't control the golem on his own turn. Atticus, make me a DC 15 con save. So, poison resistance doesn't have any bearing here? It does not, only immunity. Well, fuck. It is noxious, almost overwhelming, but you remain whelmed. Cool. Um, I guess. I mean, I would hear some flapping of wings, right? Yeah. Well, then I'm going to try and find my way out of the circle. You That's hit a wall. <laughs> I'll... Try and follow it away. Buttering. <coughs> and you just see up ahead, already off this map, but making speed in the distance, a Galavak Sanulan, heavily wounded. Damn it. Uh, is it still in range that I could fire a, a, a parting shot? It is a hundred, a hundred and... It's a hundred and... 10 feet away, so I think you can. I'll give it one go. 
Oh, I just remembered I have advantage potentially from inspiration, but I'm, I'm not going to use that now. Why would I? Ha! Nice. You, you towel whip its ass <laughs> as it goes. My rolls. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been so bad. Well, okay. Yeah, that's that, I guess. I I will call out to the team like, he's flying away. He uh, must be returning to the uh, his lair. The cloud persists. Those of you who are inside, no point in making rolls for it. Um, okay. Cough and splutter, but I would. Yeah. I would do my best to get Sira out. Yeah, fine. Siri, uh, Siri, make me a. <clears throat> we'll just do the one for for flavour, so it can't affect that other way. But make me a death save, Siri. Thank you. Yeah. You. You're in a. She you're becomes a bad state. actually unconscious. Yeah, you're in a, a bad state as you get dragged out, and you just see as you pull Siri out from McLeod, just a huge trio of massive, deep, raking claw wounds that go across the entire torso. Um, uh... It is possible to see just like a bit, they've gone deep. You can see like almost the two separate layers of fat in the body through the wound going across the abdomen. And she is uh, rapidly going pale. Um, Do I get to roll medicine for stabilization? I'll run up as you drag her out of the cloud. Okay. Um, I'll look at you and be like, what happened in there? Where are the others? Uh, as I lean down and cast a spell on her. Uh, where's Atticus? Seeing that Asher has it covered, I guess, Obsidian will get Clorag out next. That would probably be like a second turn for him. And try to do the same thing he wanted to try for Syria, which is apply medicine, I guess, to stabilize. Go for it. Luca, uh, Asha, Syria, can you please both make me a wisdom saving throw? Yes. Success. Asha. Womp, womp. Thank you. Uh, medicine check. Yeah, you managed to stabilize the very heavily wounded Clorag. I think his was a bite, wasn't it? One of his arms just yeah. looks absolutely useless. Hmm. I think it was a, ser a series of uh, claws, but maybe sure. I'm wrong. Sure. Uh, I'll walk up next to you. Help. I mean, he will Hold live. On. Hold on. He is now the twice she... wounded chieftain. See the kind of crawls holding up her stomach. Are oh, you you've given her one one HP? No, I was yeah. just I was just trying to do it to get the uh, to get the bloody death logo to go away. So he's stable. He's not actually at one HP. I can give him one HP. Cool. Um, just that she, she's not going to stand because that hurts. But that sort of infused some of her healing ability into him. What a pathetic, slippery creature we have to deal with. Sire, are you okay? You, you took a, it looks like you took a real beating there. Yeah. Those claws of the shark. Clorag to the... We live. Did it... Did it die? It fled back to its lair, but it's heavily injured, I'm sure. Bleeding. Go away. It has been dripping acid. Would we be, be able to... 
would we be able to follow the trail? I mean, you know where it is. Anyway, I mean, yeah, Laura. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, but I, sure, I yeah, but be, but be. Is, is that is that like a visible? It flew exactly. I'd say you'd have to go know. looking for it. I don't know. It's clumps that are like you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you really wanted to, you could. But you also know okay. where you're going. So yeah, yeah. you're going to yeah. notice occasionally huge patches of grass just dead. Mm-hmm. Like a whore, like like some huge animals been pissing on it for months. Just huge dead, like ammonia burn off patches between here and there. Garvel, you in there? Yes. All right. He's just chilling. He was dead. I mean, he, he literally does Both him and his his golem do not care. Siri, just just catch your breath. I'm gonna go uh, make sure this area is secure. Wait. I'll, I'll go with you. Uh, you are going to do no, no you such stay. thing. I'll, I'll, I'll go. Um, you go that way. I go this way. It would be back in the middle. All right. I'm just going to go off and try and clear away. Nice stuff. Uh, search around for any sort of. Most churches have an undercroft. Try to make sure that. Uh, this church seems to have no such place, or if it does, it's hidden. Um, go Just to summarise your exploration, Atticus, as you're walking around, just because I really didn't want to build it all for nothing. This place is just stocked with rotten food supply or bad, stale food supplies. Uh, lots of barrels and casks and flagons of really, really bad beer. Um some awful buckets but at first smell like they're waste buckets but you realize on second glance are like really bad goblin attempts at moonshine you see enough sigils and logos and stamps on the various barrels and casks but clearly this is where a lot of stolen goods from various sources have been placed um what's What's Luca? Oh my god. Oh, just because I can still don't see the dragon. It's like it's oh, just hiding there. There, like, oh. there we go. Um, yeah, just generally a bit of a ongoing piss up here. A couple of rooms that are clearly just full of sleeper mats or just straw and really, really smell of sweat. Where you imagine there's just been like big sleeping piles. Um, yeah, and a couple of goblins that look to be, have been killed several days ago at an initial glance from the flies and the paling that looked to be a result of just typical goblin infighting. And none have come in here to hide out. They've all none. fled. Yeah. Okay, good. Glorak, do you think that the goblins are still a threat? Is there enough left? Whatever goblins are left will be fewer in number. This is many dead. And they scattered in many ways. I think mostly kobolds now. <laughs> Unless Golovuk Sanulan found new pets in my absence. Um, assessing Serena and Siri, I'm going to just be like, I, should we get you into the church to lay down on some of these pews? To what, Irina? Irina and Siri. Irina looks to Siri. We're easy to find here, but it does provide some shelter. Yeah. It's as good a place as any, I guess. Sidian will look to Atticus. Do we not pursue then? I mean, we do pursue, but uh, I think that everyone's going to need a bit to rest up. Uh, they mm. 
certainly can't face him in this state. But uh, I think we can afford to take, you know, 30 minutes, an hour, <laughs> and, and then proceed from there. He'll still be licking his wounds, and he's certainly going to be expecting us, so we should be wary. How, do we remember, Jim, how long it is there? Less than a day. Less than uh, a yeah. day. Sounds like more than eight hours, though. <laughs> the dragon gets a long rest. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> yeah. It, if you spend the night, the dragon will also get time to recuperate. <laughs> it, the, dragon's, okay. the dragon's recuperation time will match you, the time that you take. Okay, good. Yes, I don't want to stay overnight. I think we should catch our breath for a little bit and then... Make tracks. Press our advantage. And I do think we have an advantage. Despite what it may look like. A bit louder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'll toss it down on the floor. Um, are there any puddles of the dragon's blood? Uh, nothing as big as puddles. There are definitely lashings and splashings of like what almost looks like the swamp water, but slightly more viscous. But yeah, definitely hasn't been a definitely hasn't been spilling pool. There's no vials to be filled. Okay. Okay, then we take a break. An hour rest, maybe two. And we pursue. How long does your? Uh... Potion of poison resistance last. Probably not long enough for the threat. That is unfortunate. It is. While this gate has ruined so many things for me, I can't remember if it is one hour or if it is eight. Long Short rest. rest is normally one hour. Long rest. No, is sorry, no, I, I meant the poison, the potion duration. Oh. I don't. I no longer have the item. So yeah, I can't take it. Quick. It's eight. Five. It's your. Sure, it's eight. This should, yeah, should really be eight. Should, yeah. we like one it. hour. We one hour. It. It's, it's one. It's one. I just looked it up. Well, darn it. Still, can I apply a short rest, or can you do a short rest for us? Yes, I will prompt that now. Oh, Have you lost. both used your potions, or? It's lost the profile. Right? That's odd. Okay. Okay. Asher Plasha, Atticus Gladstone, Obsidian, and Tire. It is a short should rest. It? You should have all been prompted. I'm done. Overhealed by nine. Lorag has no means at this point to recover at this point to recover HP, but Siri does. She's gonna use Irina. All so Irina is gonna use all three. Does Lorag not get dice on a short rest? You don't get, well, he, he did if he had any, but he currently hasn't used any because Clorag gets the shit kicked out of him every single fight. Arena regains fifteen. Yeah, you do. Know He'd have regained one. Yeah, because he regained half on his long rest. So, roll one. Did you not find anything <laughs> during his search? <laughs> Perfect uh, roll. Gains one, and Rio can do. You recover one plus your con mod. Is it plus your con? Yeah. Yep. Oh, my it case. Is. Oh! Oh, it's okay. So he gains. He can actually do two more rolls. He gains a further. No, no, no. I, I, a... I mean, you recover like 1d10 plus com modifier. Oh, f yeah. yeah. Well, Which probably is about three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same cool. difference. Anyway, we're going to roll for Rio. Rio got one. 
He probably doesn't have okay. a combat. Right. No, Rio does not have a combat. Rio is a glorified minion. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Quite glorified. I mean, the way he's getting all those glorified kills, he's saving the day. I am I am tempted to actually level him up slightly just through sheer <laughs> through sheer battle experience. He he might gain do you know what? How many kills did he get in that? Three? He got I'm, quite a lot. I'm increasing his max yeah. I'm increasing his max HP by three. Listen, I, I already have a goat for him, so prepare ah. mounted mounted combat rules for the next time. <laughs> he, now, he now has a whopping twelve HP. Uh it's horrible. Still looking rough. Gorobot was looking better by the second. He oh, seems, uh, although his his clothing is absolutely ruined by that heavy, you know, descent. Uh, you can see patches of just pale skin and some exposed bone jutting through. He seems utterly unconcerned by it now. So you take an hour, do you? Yeah, I'm gonna eat the ration. Mm -hmm. Cool. There are a number of, um, so for the for the sake of of a brevity, the corpses around you. I mean, again, as I established before, people don't really get to carry shiny trinkets around when there's a dragon who wants shiny trinkets. Um, it is all equipment: levers and short swords for the goblins, short bows, uh, arrows. Enough arrows for arena can stock straight back up to full just by picking over a few corpses during a short rest. Um, the kobolds all have very small, very small fittings of chain mail and helmets. That, I mean, if you want to, you can take the time to um, set Rio up with some slightly better AC armor from cobbled together um, kobold armor. We can give him an extra AC from some kobold knickknacks. Um, but most of the kobolds just look small, brass armor, um, highly stylized, and a lot of variations of small spears and javelins. Has he already got a shield? He does have a crappy little shield, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll increase his... We'll Is Siray going to spend some money decking him out if he survives? <laughs> so he has now <laughs> gained... He has now gained... Um, 3 HP... One AC, and do you know what? I will give him a couple of javelins and extra attack. <laughs> Sneak attack. Um, DM. Yes. Sid wouldn't mind just grabbing two daggers, just because I just realised I don't have one. Sure. What are you doing, Sid? Father you don't say always be you prepared. You don't have a dagger in your inventory. I wonder if you. I wonder if he threw it at some point and didn't put it back in Maybe. because cause I feel about like such a so you're grabbing two daggers. What kind of warrior doesn't have a dagger? Well, I now have two. There you go. I don't have daggers, apparently. Although you uh, are also carrying a whip, a longsword, and a crossbow, so and a heavy ornate crossbow as well, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that was um the courier's crossbow you took, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy. It is and, and yet I shot with the light one. <laughs> I guess it takes it takes bonus action to load that one. It does the heavy one, yeah. So in the moment, yeah. I feel like it makes sense what you did when you had the shot off. I was supposed yeah. to please stand still for several seconds. <laughs> hmm. So you rest for an hour. Any conversation we want to have during my time. So what do you think, Sure? Are you ready to carry on? Yes, I am. That was a great performance for me. I got bogged down and surrounded quite easily. I don't know what I was thinking. I came unprepared, unfocused, untattooed. Thrown my game away. Well, I'm afraid I don't think there's any time for tattooing before we next meet the dragon. What about you, Chieftain? What about me? Don't look too well. If I die, I die. Hmm. 
Brave words. I'm sure you don't want to sit this one out. Oh, what's Monkey privately rolling that not even the DM can see? I didn't know it would tell you I rolled at all. You have... You have done your part. If victory comes, you can... You have a claim to it. Either way. It seems there may be no one left to lead. And this is the way of things as well. Well, there's not much to lead at this point. Mm. Although, you seem to have one brave soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. If only he were quieter in the throw of battle. Oops, he didn't look shrug at that. Didn't bother him. Gorobal just sort of leans forward a bit off mm. the golem and say, So now we will fight it in its lair. In Not some ideal, respects, yes. a mistake. However, it seemingly will not be able to fly as it did out here. That was your undoing. Although you... Undoing? I would say that its magical capabilities and no way to stop them amongst the arcane intuited was the problem. Why no counter spell, bitch? <laughs> Fully in character. You should arrange stratagems. I don't know how much strategy I can come up with without being this lair for myself. Sounds like we we're going to have to swim, though. We don't know how many times it can blink out of existence as well. I cannot tell if grabbing it at all is helpful. It does seem a good call. Turned out fairly impotent. It is a child for its species. An encouraging thought in some respects, but it should be a sombering realization in others. You displayed some interesting physical characteristics. The forked tongue and tail. Is that normal for a green dragon? What is normal for creatures of such disruptive magical nature? Books are written often by people who have never borne witness. A look becomes an established thing. There are people, even learned scholars, who feel that every silver runs a long webbed fin from snout to tail tip. Every blue must have a lightning conducting horn and so on. It is not so. Their appearances across most realms are as varied as your faces would be to your loved ones, I am sure. Sita takes out her notebook and notes this down and also begins to sketch the likeness of 
Gala Rex Nolan. Gala Rex Nolan. Gala Rex Nolan. Taking particular note of distinct features around his face. What can one expect in a veil of a green dragon? Poison, I would expect. Much more of everything we have encountered here. Goblins as well? Minions? Maybe not goblins in as much number, based off your shaggy friend, but kobolds. Most certainly. They are the servants and retainers of the dragons, after all. There will also, of course, be a great deal of treasure. This is twofold. The dragon will defend it fiercely. But this could perhaps be used to our advantage. It's a distraction. The only two things most dragons care for in equal measure is power and wealth. You struggle to threaten its power. Perhaps threatening the wealth will aid you. Other than that, as Obsidian says, we do not know how much more magic it has, but even for a dragon, it is a well that can run dry. may be a battle of endurance as opposed to a sprint. It would most certainly beat us in a sprint. <laughs> He's a <laughs> terrible dry laugh. A cackle. Celia takes out um, a gas mask he has carried with her since the days of the lab incursion. Yes. He turns to Atticus and says, I, I wonder if this will come in handy. There seem to be quite a lot of noxious gases around. I imagine that could come in very handy. I would perhaps suggest that... Uh... As soon as we get close, wearing it, um, as, soon, as soon as we're entering the lair would be wise. You feel foolish having drunk in that potion. I mean, they only lasted an hour either way, so if someone else had drunk it, it would still be a have run out. Worry not for what you cannot change, but uh, definitely make use of it. Every advantage we can is a uh, is useful to us. With your rest complete, do you continue the way to Evergem Toils? Yeah, let's do it. Are you trying to rush? I mean, I take it you're not sneaking. Are you just traveling at a comfortable pace? Or are you trying to double time this and going loudly? I mean, I don't mind going loudly. He knows we're coming. Yeah, okay. I think. I think. Do we really think a... that we're going to have a big benefit if we try and stealth our way for some portion of it? Considering we're not very stealthy people. As long as I'm not about to get exhausted from all the marching, then I'm happy to just try. Yeah. And... Okay. 
leave him as little time to prepare as possible. Obsidian, make me a survival check, please. Sure. And you see, yeah, you do see every 50 to 100 feet, there is just a a scattering or a big puddle of just scorched grass. Um, at one point, after about a mile, you find, uh, no, but less than a mile, um, a few hundred feet from the camp as you're setting off, you find the charred, burnt remains, well, the partially melted remains of uh, two goblins who it would seem from the prince had been sprinting away towards Evergem Toils as Galavax and Ulan flew overhead and just rained down this, this acid on it. Um, a while later, as you're going, you smell it a few moments before it happens, but a large mountain lion is stalking out low towards a party from the grassland, but the size of the group and then just this large golem stomping along. You see it pause for a moment for it turns tail and scarpers back <coughs> into the trees, obviously. Oh, blast! Thinking, thinking better of it. Um, and yeah, after a few more hours, yes, Siri? A few more hours, yeah. At some point, uh, I'll turn to like Atticus, Obsidian, and Ashen, but like, I can't stop thinking about this ways to trick him, ways to weaken him. We do have this bag. It carries quite a lot, and it's not heavy. Perhaps if we, one of us, the quickest one, loaded with treasure, and then the sturdiest runs with it, that might trick the dragon into just attacking that one. And we can attack him whilst his focus is perhaps on the golem. On the water. So maybe we can sneak in there, grab some treasure, put as much treasure as we can in the bag, and run to draw him out of the water so we can fight somewhere more dry or with more chill footing. It'd be great if we can get the ground though so it doesn't fly off. None of us is any good at. Sneaking around, I don't think. Much less Obsidian, swimming around. Obsidian's not terrible at it, is he? Ooh, I thought we'd been a bit sneaky sneaky before, and he's either amphibious or can hold his breath. I'm not remember. terrible at it. He's, he's amphibious. amphibious. He's amphibious, yeah. Yeah, I got a plus two. Um, I don't know how quick. I'm worried about separating, but at the same time, I'm also worried about clenching together. We should definitely try to stay more than 15 feet apart if we can. Yeah. That seems to be the breath of his breath. You notice on a few instances, uh, Siri, as you're going closer, Hanging from trees occasionally or darting away from the path ahead of you, a definite increase in the number of snakes as you are approaching. Um, still all acting like wild creatures. You hear a couple of rattles off nearby as you climb up rocks, but mostly it's things that have been basking in what little light there is that dart off. It isn't like there's coils of giant snakes just gathering to attack you, but it's noticeable how many more snakes there are about. Um, Kura is someone next to me. Mm -hmm. Actually, at some point during our long hour trek, because this ha hasn't happened in a while, um, but I will sing to them in Asimar. And how are you? I've not got my echo today. It's like, I am as well as you. How are you? Very fine. Angry. 
Yes. We are. You're getting stronger. We are. Is there any recognition in Acer that she hears? My yeah, but is there anything show? weird that would make her like reveal that she can hear and understand? <laughs> No, no, that's it. I was just checking, like, kind of going, like, can she understand this? I mean, I don't think she'd be giving any sign of whether she could or not. It's such a mystery. Okay. How is your wound? It burns from the inside. I thought that means it's healing. I don't know, how is my wound, Ian? You were healed from it, yeah. Does this, any scar, any tingling? I always feel like with D and D in a world of heal and magic, that's kind of. I, I would normally rule it, but like wounds that kill and you have to be resurrected from leave scars as like a reminder. You were you were brought back. Otherwise, some obsidian would look like some battered pangolin already, just like <gasps> with if it's up and down. So yeah, um, it's. It's raw. It it looks raw. It's slightly red, but it doesn't look like a little scar. Can you feel it when I get hurt? When what? When I get hurt. Of course. I wish you didn't. But then I wouldn't be me. It looks up after. Just wondering what he's doing. Mm, marching determined, determinedly onwards, keeping his eye out for rogue goblins that he might dispatch on the way. And perhaps thinking to himself about magic. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't magic great? Wonder what house I'd be in. <laughs> Absolutely, oh, like, be a he wants more of it. Magic? Do I use? I don't know what to do. Well, the time to decide is soon at hand, because before long, you come to a large old mine entrance not as caved in as here it is it is open it's been there's enough rock outside but you can see it has been excavated in the not too distant past um there's you know moss there's still a lot of stone that is clearly brighter and lighter and unmossy and has been like unearthed of no plant growth and left there and like plant life hasn't really taken it yet um, but it certainly hasn't been done the last couple of days, probably the last few months, maybe a year. Uh, but yeah, there is a large open entrance to the Evergem Toils. It looks like it may be a struggle for a golem to get very far in, but Gorobal assures you, but that's fine. He can just instruct some elements of it to just fall off. And uh, he can reduce the size of a golem conveniently. But yeah, we will pick up 
next week with you beginning to enter what may possibly be the last session of this jaunt before you return to Afkatla and the story proper. Or what yeah. could possibly be the last episode of this series. Well, if that does happen, don't worry, because we've made a whole new set of candle of our candle keep maps. So we can just pivot back to candle keep. Um, okay, cool. We'll be back next week. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. <laughs>